Chick-fil-A, 250 for 2.6 miles. Ooh. Hey, what's up? It's Nate. I'm online, Grubhub, DoorDash, Uber Eats. It is actually 7.25 p.m. on a Friday evening. Got a very late start. I've been out a little bit. I've done one order, but uh, just starting the video. It's late. Got a late start. Needed to do a little vehicle maintenance, which is very important if you're driving a lot. It's important anyway. It is the Friday before Father's Day, so I figured why not do a something like top five gift ideas for a delivery driver. So if you're it's a, maybe a little late for Father's Day, maybe not. But if you're looking for a gift for a father that happens to be a DoorDash driver, Uber Eats, Grubhub Ship, Instacart, whatever, I'm going to do some orders here and then kind of just slowly go through list of what I think are the top five needed things for a delivery driver and uh, I'll share some links to them in the description also. All right, got an order on DoorDash 650 for about two and a half miles from Crepe Nation. Your car's loud. I'm about a half mile from the store. It's almost never ready when I get there, but I'm gonna head there, try to pick it up, get it delivered. Okay, well, I got to Crepe Nation and the store is closed. So I had to cancel that one. Got 325 for my troubles. So not too bad, I guess, for a half mile drive. All right, well, I guess now is as good of a time as any to start with the list of the top five gifts or items that I think every delivery driver needs. And I should mention, I got inspired because Father's Day is this weekend, but these don't have to be limited to Father's Day, obviously. If it's a driver's birthday, Christmas, just a gift just because, or if you're a driver and you're not sure what kind of equipment you might want to start with, these are kind of just the basic things that I think every, every delivery driver should have. I did just grab a order on DoorDash, 775 for Logan's Roadhouse going about five miles. So a couple miles to the restaurant. Logan's is a pretty good restaurant. So anyway, the first item that I think every delivery driver needs is a phone holder. The one I have, it's a wireless charging uh, and it's automatic. So you just set the phone on it and it closes. It's supposed to. Mine's wore out. I've had it for two or three years, just constant in and out. Uh, so that's the only thing to think about with that, with like, it's got a little electric motor that's kind of wore out, so I have to squeeze it manually. I see a lot of them. I'll link one that's very similar to mine. It's the one that I will end up buying to replace the one I have. I just haven't gotten to it yet. But a phone holder to go in the car. You might want to check if you don't know what kind of phone, what capabilities as far as wireless charging or magnetic or whatever. And also mine clips to the vent. Um, some cars don't have vents that you can really clip to easily. Maybe you need a suction cup one that'll go on the window or the dash or whatever it is. But a phone holder is essential. That's number one top of my list. Okay, the food was ready and waiting for me when I got into the restaurant. We've got 4.5 miles to drop this off. I'll leave it at the door. Okay, easy enough drop off on that one. Left it at the door. There was a hidden tip, $12.50. So instead of $7.75, that one was $12.50, which made it a very good order. And then while I was dropping that off, I got an Uber Eats for a Cancun Mexican Grill. It's only $6, but it was also only a mile and a half. It should be pretty good order. Uber Eats orders and Cancun's pretty good combination. So got about a mile to the store. I drove a little bit farther, so it'll be another probably mile after I pick it up. So. We're in good shape though. Okay, the Cancun was ready when I got there, like I figured it would be. 1.4 miles to the drop off, leave at the door, on the small rug. I can do that. All right, easy enough drop off. That guy was not a little rug at the door, but he seemed hungry, so I gave him the food. I think it's time for another item on our list. The second item, and I think right up there with the phone holder is insulated bags. Now, depending on which platform you sign up for, some of them, at least when I signed up specifically, DoorDash and Grubhub send you a bag. The DoorDash bag is trash. Grubhub bags are pretty good. Uh, they're just a little bulky and sometimes hard to get the food in. I got these Vino bags. They were suggested by a YouTuber. I don't remember who. Steph on the pedal, I think. I don't think she's making, uh, I think she started a photography business now and she's not doing drive along videos. But again, a link in the description. These bags are nice. They're lightweight. They're big. So I was having trouble fitting like uh, some Bob Evans bags or Logan's bigger bags like that. Uh, in some of my other bags. These ones are wide. They're not super tall, but they're wide. So those bags will fit in or McDonald's, the big McDonald's bags fit right in there. And they keep themselves upright. One of the problems with the Grubhub bag was that it would kind of collapse on itself because it's so heavy. These ones, it's easy to reach over with one hand, lift the top, slide something in there, you're good to go. They do a pretty good job. They were one of the best purchases I've made. If you're doing food delivery, 
have insulated bag. These are good ones. I like them. Okay, and that brings us to the third item on our list, which is a flashlight, a good flashlight. Now you can always use the light on your phone. That gets a little interesting and difficult, especially when you're taking photos and on my iPhone anyway, that turns the flashlight off. And you know, a lot of times you just wanna be holding your phone, looking at it and not having to shine your way. And also, light on your phone is not always bright enough. So a flashlight comes in handy, especially like doing Amazon Flex in the winter time when it gets dark at 6 p.m finding addresses either in dark apartment complexes or out in the middle of nowhere that has no street lights and people like to turn all their lights off at their house so you can't find them. A good flashlight, good high powered flashlight. Here's the one that I have, I love it. It's a focusable beam so you can either have it really wide and just kind of light up the whole area if you're just kind of checking your surroundings or if you really need to focus on something, you can focus the light and really see you know, numbers on houses or on mailboxes, whatever you need to see. Very important, not only for efficiency and effectiveness and finding places, but also for safety, just so you can see what's around you at night. All right, I'm taking a gamble on an order, 1375 on DoorDash for 10 and a half miles. That's so far, but I did an order very similar to this, I think from the same restaurant yesterday or the day before maybe, and uh, it was a huge hidden tip on it. So, and go in the same area. It might even be the same customer, that would be awesome. I haven't really gotten any great orders. It's now 8.25, so it is a Friday night, but seems like it's slowing down already. I don't know, not sure why. Maybe just because the weather's so nice, it's like 80 degrees, 77 degrees now. People are probably outside hanging out. I don't know, I'm gonna go get this food. I hope it's ready, we'll get it delivered. Okay, so not my favorite thing to do, but I got an Uber Eats offer 1041 for about four miles. Much better than what DoorDash showed me. Message from Brenna C. Hi, can you ask them to make sure they're honey mustard and ranch, please? Just seems like a safer bet than hoping for a hidden tip on that 10 mile DoorDash order. 1041 for about four miles, a really good order. Might be a hidden tip on it even, possibly, depending on the base pay. All right, the Applebee's was ready when I got there. Just had to verify that there was some dressing. Customer messaged me, said, hey, please make sure there's ranch and honey mustard. And so of course I will because, you know, especially on Uber where they can mess with your tip, I wanna make sure if they ask specifically, I will check with the restaurant. The to-go person was pretty sure it was in there, but wasn't 100%, so they gave me an extra. So just to be sure we are all covered. And now I'm heading 3.7 miles to the drop-off. Okay, the fourth item on my list for a perfect gift for a delivery driver or even for yourself are these Ikea bags, the large Ikea bags. These have come in handy for Instacart orders for me when there's a lot of groceries that you can stick in one of these bags instead of taking multiple trips or cutting the circulation off in your fingers trying to carry them all. And also where they've made a huge impact was doing Amazon Flex Whole Foods orders. So I could fit three or four Whole Foods bags in one of these to take uh, you know, to the customer's door, potentially getting the whole thing in one trip instead of two or three, because those bags are kind of hard to carry by hand. You can really only carry one in each hand if there's any weight to them. You can't really grab onto them easily. So these Ikea bags, cheap enough and very good for that sort of thing. And they've held up for a lot of trips. I've been using the same bag over and over and haven't, haven't really had any problems. I also incidentally use it for my eBay and Amazon uh, reselling business. So like taking packages to the post office, if I have a bunch of small boxes or envelopes or whatever, pile them in there, carry them into the post office. It makes light work of that as well. All right, I just grabbed an order on Grubhub for Logan's. It was 12 something for about six miles. It's heading out of the zone, but that's actually heading towards my home. So I'm gonna take it, it is 9 p.m. This will be my last order unless something else great pops up. Or if this order is not gonna be ready for a half hour because it is on Grubhub, maybe I'll have to drop and grab something else. As of now, this will be my last order. That brings us to the fifth item on the list. It's actually something I don't have, but it's something I want. It's kind of an upgrade from the Ikea bags. The Ikea bags have done great for me, but that would be a wagon or a foldable cart of some sort. I think Nugs, I'll try to find the one that he recommended that he uses and put a link to it. But a nice foldable wagon, especially if you have room in your car, perfect for shopping orders, perfect for Amazon Flex, Whole Foods, or even if there's multiple packages going to a logistics drop off, but definitely for Instacart and ship, especially when you get those orders that have cases of water and things like that, a cart would come in handy. I do plan to invest in one. I haven't been doing as much Instacart lately, so it hasn't really been an issue, but I do plan to get one at some point. So 
Number five on the list would be a wagon or foldable cart of some sort. All right, even for Grubhub, Logan's is good. The order was ready when I got there, so headed to the delivery. 6.8 miles to the drop off. Delivery instructions, side door next to Chevy Cruze. Scooby might bark, but he's chilling. So that's good to know. Don't have to worry about the dog. Okay, super easy drop off there. They actually came out and met me instead of leave at the door. Perfectly fine. I am a little disappointed in Scooby. He only barked once when I was walking away. So, you know, oh well, what are you gonna do? I expected more barking out of him. So anyway, not a bad night. I think uh, it seemed a little slow for a Friday night, but you know, I was only out for about two hours. So I'll put the totals on the screen. I also gave you my top five gift ideas, either for Father's Day or uh, Christmas or birthday or whatever for the driver in your life, or even for yourself. Buy yourself a gift if you need any of these things. No problem. I also have one more thing that I thought of while I was recording this, which seems fairly obvious, but a bonus gift idea would be a gas card, especially with the, the price of gas nowadays. 10, 15, 20, $300 on a gas card, I think would be appreciated by any any driver, let alone a delivery driver that does this, you know, to make money and drives potentially hundreds of miles a day. That is gonna be it though. Any questions, comments, concerns, if you have any other gift ideas uh, for a delivery driver or gig worker, put them in the comments below. Also consider hitting the subscribe button below so you don't miss any future content. And thanks for watching.